Hello everyone. Yesterday I started learning Python. My background is highly technical. I have about 23 years of experience in the web development and in software development. Uh, I have worked in the fifth largest company, software development company in India. And um, um, so about 10 years ago, I moved into management position. Before that, I was an excellent programmer. I was a senior, I, I was a team leader. Uh, tech leader, team leader, you name it. Then I um, became a manager and senior manager and I learned a lot about how to manage people, how to manage project, how to manage expectations of your team member as well as your leadership and the entire agile transformation um, and uh, how to have, how to build an effective team. So I've done all that. And then for the last couple of years, I've been trying to get better at writing and I joined Ship 30 for 30 and Captain's Table last year and that tremendously has changed how I write and think and everything. So with that background, now I wanted to go back to the technology which is my comfort zone, which is where I shine. So, um, and, and recently I also wrote this book. Uh, so I have achieved a couple of milestones in my writing and I want to bring everything together come with uh, a powerful uh, outcome or powerful uh, way to communicate with everyone and uh, give them some solid advice, actionable advice. So that's my goal. Also, Python has been in trend for trend for some time and it's an entry to, um, to get into AI and machine learn learning and some of the latest uh, uh, trend that I want to follow. Now, following trend has always helped me when when Microsoft released ASP.NET C Sharp, I was one of the first few people who jumped on that train and I really get better and, and I was able to get into the fifth largest company as a senior developer within a couple of years of starting my, my uh, developer journey. So um, let's quickly jump into, I will switch my video to my screen. All right, so yesterday I went to the python.org. From there, I, I downloaded the application. Uh, once I installed it, um, it created this folder in my app fold, um, application. And uh, um, there are a bunch of command that I ran. I was facing some initial troubles, but then I was able to get over it. Um, my my environment was not able to recognize, but I, once I run these two commands, I was good to go. And then I was able to run the hello world. Um, so that was yesterday, install, configure, troubleshoot, and run the hello world. Um, today, what I'm trying to do is to install Visual Studio Code, and that's what we will cover in this video. So why Visual Studio Code? because I'm already familiar with it. I have used Visual Studio for a long time. Um, it was a full Visual Studio. I still have Visual Studio uh, Premier or Enterprise license that I use sometime, uh, but, I have, but I'm using a MacBook and I've learned that many people use uh, Visual Studio Code. So that's what I'm going to use. All right, so I started the, the install. And it's done, uh, the quickest thing that I've seen. One thing that I want to install here is the plugin. All right, so I'm going to install Python first. Uh, there are many other things, so I'm not going to do all that, but I have heard there is a there's an extension for chat GPT, so let me try that. Seems like this is the official one, maybe not. Right, this one looks really good. It says free and easy setup, no open AI key required. So I'm going to install this. Now recently I've seen another one. code 
GPT. Um, I heard about it in a free code camp or somewhere, so I will give it a try. I'm going to try a couple of them and then uh, we'll keep one. Um, so that's all for now. What I will do next is um, create a GitHub. Uh, I already have a Git GitHub account, so I will create one for Python project, Python learning. I am following 100 days of code and 100 days of code challenge. So every day I will publish something related to whatever I have done. I plan to invest 30 minutes a day. Uh, <clears throat> And, and I still have to maintain my nine to five job. My writing, um, you know what, <laughs> and other things. So in, in all those, I'm trying to fit this. And uh, this will be an example that uh, however busy you are, you can still find 30 minutes for yourself for something new, some, some other learning. So let's see, and I, it will be great if uh, you join my journey. Uh, we do it together. All right, sir. Bye for now.